This is National 5, it's Applications Unit Assessment. And we're looking at Standard 1.2, which is Applying Geometric Skills to Vectors. What I'm going to be using is the Pegasus Practice Paper. And we've got uh, four questions to do here, question four, five, six and seven. And uh, I'll show you the marks for, for these ones here as we go along. Right then, so first question. And what we've got is we've got a diagram below shows uh, two direct line segments. So I've got U here, which goes along 2 and up 4, and I've got V, which goes along 3 and up 1. Okay, so draw the resultant of 3U plus V. Now 3U is going to be the same direction as U, but it's going to be 3 times bigger. So that's going to be 2 along, 4 up, 2 along, 4 up, 2 along, 4 up. Okay, so I'm just going to do that and just draw that one. I'll just start from down here somewhere. Okay, so let's go from here. Okay, this is a start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along 2 and 4 up. So there, that would be U, but I've got 3U to go. And that's going to take me to there. So I'm just going to draw that one up. Okay, so that one from there to there. The direction of it is in that direction there. And this one here is 3U. Okay up to there. What I've got is the resultant of 3u plus v. So v is 3 along and 1 up. So I'm just going to draw one, one of these and that's going to go to there. Okay, so 3 along and 1 up. So that's there. That direction there. So make sure your arrow appears in. And that's going to be just v that's there. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the resultant from here down at the bottom from the tail of 3u all the way up to the, the head of V. Okay, so the resultant is going in that direction there. Okay, and that there will be 3U, and that's plus V as the resultant. That's the question complete. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got three marks that I'm going to get. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, one mark for drawing this one here, one mark for making sure I do the head to tail. Okay, for V. And finally, another mark there for getting the resultant. So remember to put your arrows in, uh, make sure you draw it neatly, and uh, that would be three marks for this question here. Okay, so on to question five. What we have here is we have a diagram. Um, a diagram of a square-based uh, glass pyramid. Uh, the height of the pyramid is eight, and that's going to be important for me. Um, the square OPQR, OPQR has a side length of 6, so I know from there to there it's going to be 6, okay? The coordinates of Q are 6, 6, 0, so here we go, 6 along, 6 back the way in the Y direction, and 0 in the height, 0 in Z direction there, so X, Y, and Z direction, okay, for, for Q. And what I've got to do is to have to write down the coordinates of S. So, on a square base pyramid like that there, I know that the S, S is going to be right in the centre of that square because that's that's where I'm going to see that uh, that there from, a, from the properties of a square based pyramid. So I know that what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be going along in the X direction half of this distance here and remember that distance there was 6, I've got it in two places I know it from here and also know it from here because that's what the side length of the, the square base is Okay. Right, so I'm going to go along here 3, so that's going to be 3 along to there. What I'll do is I'll go back, because I know that that's going to be 6 as well, so I'll go back 6 places in the y direction, 3 places in the y direction. That would be right into the centre of the, the square that's there, and then I'll go from there in the z direction, just up to the top to there. And uh, from there, I can see that the height's 8, so my z coordinate there is going to be 8. So, quite simply, what I've got is, I've moved along 3, 3 and 8, so my coordinates at that point from the origin will be 3, 3, 8. Okay, one mark for this one, and just for identifying the point S. Okay, over 1. Right, let's move on. Right, the forces acting on a body are represented by three vectors, A, B and C, as given below. Okay, find the resultant force. So the resultant force will just be the addition of all of the forces that are acting upon it. 
So let's go ahead and do the addition. So what I'll do is just say is the resultant force is going to be equal to, and what we'll go for is uh, 5 to 2.5, okay, plus uh, minus 3, 7, 5.5, and plus 1.5, 6, and minus 2. All I'm going to do is just add all of these up as we go along the way. And what we should get there is we should have 3.5 on the top. Let's see, the 2 and the 7 is 9, and the 6 is 15. And finally on the bottom, what we're looking at is that's going to be, that's going to be 6. Put it into component form, like that there. And that's the question complete. That's the resultant force. This question here is out of two marks, so one mark for getting the uh, the addition here, knowing to do the addition, one mark for the answer. So I've got two marks for this vector's question here. Okay, so on to the last, the last vector's question. Right, vector P, um, 5, 3, and vector Q, 1, minus 3. And um, what we've to do is uh, calculate 2p plus q, and that's the magnitude when I see the lines like that, the size or the the size, the size of the the, the magnitude of it. Right, let's go ahead and uh, work out what the vector 2p plus q is first of all. So I'll go for 2p plus q. It's going to be equal to, and it's going to be two times the vector p, and it's going to be plus the vector q. What I'll do is I'll just add them, multiply these out, and add this one on. So that's going to be 10, that's going to be 11 on the top there. That's going to be 6, 6 minus 3. So it's 11. 6 minus 3 is going to give me 3. Okay, so that's that there. What I'll then do is I'll work out the magnitude. So the magnitude of the vector 2p plus q is going to be equal to the square root of this one squared plus that one squared. So 11 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, what I've got there is uh, 121 plus 9, which gives me root 130. Okay, and uh, that would that would do it uh, from there. What we've got here is we've got three marks in this question. Uh, we're going to do the getting this part here would give us one mark here, carrying out the scalar multiplication and the addition. So really getting this answer here would be the, the main thing there for the first mark. Calculating the magnitude, which would be this one here. And finally, getting this mark here. So this mark here, for this question, out of three marks. So this, this section here, section 1.2, you're needing half marks to, to pass this, uh, this assessment standard. Good luck.